In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 26, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Diego Padres vs. Detroit Tigers The San Diego Padres continue their swing east with a matchup against the Detroit Tigers in Detroit to start the week. The Padres are entrenched in second place in the National League West Division at the moment, comfortably behind the front-running Dodgers. Detroit is lingering near the bottom of the American League Central Division standings and have one of baseball's least potent offenses. The pitching matchup for Tuesday night's matchup will be Mike Clevinger of the Padres taking on Garrett Hill of the Tigers. The Padres are 4-0 in their last four games versus a team with a winning percentage below .400 and are 10-4 in their last 14 during Game 2 of a series. The Padres are also also 5-2 in their last seven interleague road games versus a team with a losing record. The Tigers are 104-212 in their last 316 versus a team with a winning record and are 5-11 in their last 16 Tuesday games. The Tigers are also 4-9 in their last 13 home games versus a right-handed starter. The San Diego Padres have been one of the best teams in the sport while the Detroit Tigers are one of the worst. It is a lot tougher to know what Garrett Hill can do as he has allowed nine runs in his last two starts and only threw 10 innings. Compare that to Mike Clevinger is 2-1 with a 3.46 road ER in six games this season. Neither team has really been hitting for a lot of homers with injuries to Fernando Tatis JR for the Padres and Austin Meadows for the Tigers, but these teams are still on different levels as Detroit is far and away last in the majors with just 54 homers while San Diego is 25th with 80 total home runs. Clevinger is on in 0-3 stretch right now over his last three games, but he hasn't pitched terribly in that time. In those three, he's got 17 points one combined innings with nine earned on 15 hits and five walks. San Diego is going to need some offensive support here, but should be in decent shape for a potential W so the San Diego Padres money line is our full game side pick. The Tigers are the worst run producing team in baseball, scoring just 3.1 runs per game. They will be facing Clevinger who has allowed two runs or less in five out of his last seven starts. The Tigers are just 26 to 42 against right-handed pitching this season and will struggle to put up runs against Clevinger and the Padres bullpen. The Padres have played to the under in six out of their last 10 games and are just 17th in runs scored per game. Neither team has been doing very well offensively throughout the season and that will be tough to score many runs. The bullpen has been very good this season for both teams as the Padres are 13th in MLB with a 3.86 reliever ERA while the Tigers are all the way at 5th with a 3.18 bullpen ERA up to this point. These teams have not been scoring much as of late as San Diego is averaging 2.8 runs per game in their previous four games while Detroit is scoring 2.4 runs per game in their last five games. This will be a low scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Guardians vs. Boston Red Sox The Cleveland Guardians will be trying to snap their two-game losing streak when they face the Boston Red Sox in the second game of their four-game series on Tuesday. Josh Winkowski, 3-4 and 4.38 ERA, will get the start for the Red Sox. The Guardians have not announced their starter for the game. Boston is 8-2 in its last 10 games against Cleveland. Boston was able to bounce back with a win after their disastrous series with the Blue Jays over the weekend. Boston will look to Josh Winkowski to keep it going, who has allowed nine runs in his last 11 innings pitched. Cleveland remains in second place in the American League Central, but has lost three games in a row. Cleveland trails Minnesota by 3.5 games in the American League Central, with the White Sox trailing them by only half of a game. Cleveland looks like they will start Brian Shaw, who usually pitched out of the bullpen, in a bullpen game. The Guardians have lost two straight games and eight of their last 11 road games. Despite their slump, they continue to play well offensively, scoring 14 runs in their last three games. Expect them to struggle offensively in this game because Winkowski has pitched well for the Red Sox, giving up 14 earned runs in his last six starts. He gave up two runs in his only start against the Guardians and will keep their offense in check. The Red Sox struggled over the past week, 
but they are playing well offensively, scoring 10 runs in their last three games. They are facing a Cleveland team that has had a hard time slowing them down this season, giving up 18 runs in three games, and won't have trouble scoring in this game. With that said, the Guardians continue to come up short and underachieve, and they're not in great form at the moment. Josh Winkowski has been up and down this season, but he did hold Cleveland to two runs in 5.2 innings last month while striking out four. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. The Guardians are averaging 4.39 runs per game and 4.54 runs per game on the road. They average 2.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Red Sox. With Boston giving up 5.26 runs per game at home, the Guardians will go over their average in this game. The Red Sox are averaging 4.58 runs per game and 4.7 runs per game at home. They average 6 runs per game in their last 3 games against the Guardians. The over is 5-2 in the previous 7 head-to-head -head games between these teams, and I like that side of the total for Tuesday. With Cleveland giving up 4.44 runs per game on the road, the Red Sox will score enough runs to push the score past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. Milwaukee Brewers The Minnesota Twins battle the Milwaukee Brewers in the second of a three-game interleague series on Tuesday night. The Twins will have Dylan Bundy on the bump. The Brewers will reply with rookie Ethan Small. The season series is even at 1-1. The Brewers are 5-1 in their last six interleague games. The Twins are 1-5 in their last six games following an off day. The over is 7-0-1 in the Twins' last eight road games. The over is 5-0 in Brewers' last five home games versus a team with a winning road Road record. Milwaukee has won each of its last three through its victory on Sunday over the Colorado Rockies, and the Brewers have won four of the last six played at home. Minnesota has lost seven of its last 12 overall, and the Twins have lost eight of the last 14 on the road. Minnesota starting pitcher Dylan Bundy has struggled in each of the last two starts, allowing 11 hits and seven runs in 10 of third innings. Minnesota has played two straight games without Brian Buxton, who is the home run leader and is questionable for Tuesday, and Max Kepler left Sunday's game with a knee injury and is also questionable. Bundy has been a little choppy over his last pair, but he's got wins in both outings. In his last three games combined, however, Bundy has put up eight earned runs in 15.1 innings on 14 hits and four walks. On the other side, Milwaukee has been scoring quite well lately. They've put up five or more runs in each of the last four games. If they can keep that run going, the Brewers should have a solid shot in this one. So the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. The Twins are flourishing at the plate and will contribute to this total. They have accumulated 23 runs in their last four games. The Brewers' pitching hasn't been sharp as they continue to deal with injuries. They are starting starting rookie Ethan Small who conceded two runs and two innings in his only career start. Milwaukee has surrendered 29 runs in their last five bouts. In addition, Milwaukee will have no issues scoring runs in this one. The over is the common trend when Bundy is on the mound, especially on the road. It has cashed in four out of his last five road starts. The over is also 4-1 to one in the Brewers' last five games. Plus, Milwaukee is ninth in runs scored while Minnesota is 11th in runs scored. I expect a high-scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.